Hi guys, welcome to How To Tuesday. Um, I have so much stuff today that we're gonna use that um, I can't even put it all on the camera. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go over it slowly. First of all, uh, this is my substrate. I'm gonna use 140 pound Fabriano hot press watercolor paper, which I have taped down to my um, work surface. And this is the tape that I use, Pro Artist. Pro Artist tape. It's really nice. It has a good stick, but it doesn't rip my paper ever. So I don't ever have a problem with that. I want to show you guys that. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, I'm going to use, I pulled a bunch of stuff because I wasn't exactly sure what colors I was going to use, but I wanted to have enough so I don't have to keep getting up and down. Um, I have some acrylics and a lot of my chalk paints, a lot of chalk paints. I'm working in a very bright color palette today. Very different than what I've been doing. I'm doing a lot of earthy tones with my chalk paints, but today we're going to work with some darks and lights. I have my Carbothello, my Stabil Carbothello Chalk Pastel Pencils. I also have my uh, General's Black Charcoal, and in here somewhere I have my General's White Charcoal, which I've said a million times before. These are my favorite for the black and white. They do, the Stabilo Carbothellos do have a black and white, and they work great, but I find that these are a bit, a bit more rich and intense in color, so um, I like to use those more. And I get this little guy right here because I plan on using also white gesso and I just put a little bit in here instead of wasting a whole piece of you know paper plate or a palette or whatever. Um, I do plan on, because I'm using the chalk and I will also be using my pan pastels. I have a, a selection here that I've chosen. Um, I do plan on using Fixative. Latour Seignelier, I can't pronounce that, I'm gonna butcher it every time, but that's what it is. This is it. This is what I found that works really, really well. A couple sprays and the stuff doesn't move, which I love. And I also have my little, let me see if I can get them. My little, uh, my beautiful little soft pastels too that I'll be using as well. We're gonna do a lot of mark making today. Lots of sectioning off segments today. First, I'm gonna have a lot of play. I'm gonna do a lot of play with acrylic with my, you know, I'm gonna use paintbrush, lay down a bunch of color, and then I'm gonna use my fingers and make some patterns. And then we're gonna kind of segregate stuff out. I'm gonna have, I think, at least one, maybe two abstract people in it. Um, but you'll see it come together as we go. I also grabbed some of my, what are these? The Marabou Art Crayons, the Creamy Creamy Art Crayons. I did a, a project a few weeks ago with these, and these are really, really cool and fun to play with. And I thought maybe, maybe I'll find some space for these too. I, I probably use only a few of everything, but I, like I said, I wanted to have um, stuff at my fingertips. And I just have like my a paintbrush, water cup, and a towel. Okay, so I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think that's it. All right, if you like what you're seeing and you're enjoying How To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click that bell. Click that bell, you get personal notifications. Also be sure to join us over at Next Generation Art. It's my Facebook group. We have a huge group of fun. We play right now. We're getting ready for our um, Gentober, which is our October event where we put up, I posted a prompt in Next Generation Art. It's also on my Instagram page under Next Generation Art. I posted a prompt for 31 days. We don't start sharing until October 1st and we share every single day until the end of October. But um, I shared it early so that we'd have time to play and research and start drawing so that we're not so crunched in the month of October. So if you'd like the idea of that and joining us, please come on over and join us. The link will be in the description box uh, for Next Generation Art. Okay, thanks for being here, guys. Let's get started. I wanted to pop in really quick because if you are new to my channel, I'm using these chalk paints. I'm using some acrylic, maybe. I'll probably do a little, but most of this will be chalk paint. I'm using these because they work really, really well as a surface for my chalk pastel pencils and my little soft pastel pencil or soft pastel nubs, I call them. Um, yeah, these work really, really well as a surface for them to glide over. You'll, you, if you don't use chalk, you can use them on acrylic. Not as great because acrylic is a plastic, so it's not super porous or absorbent. But the chalk paint has a really good tooth as well as gesso paint also creates a really good tooth and you could do it in black or clear or white gesso um, for the chalk itself so I just wanted to pop in and say that that is the reason I'm using so much chalk paint aside from that it's a dream to work with it's a little bit more um, absorbent when you use it so you have to use a couple coats but it's totally worth it if you do plan on playing with chalk paint okay let's get started okay guys here's the finished piece that was so much fun so much fun um, I, I loved, I was dirty. I went just washed my hands because I had stuff everywhere. Paint and finger painting and chalk and 
Oh my gosh. I love my job. Love my job so much. I want to tell you that my artist inspiration was um, by the fabulous female artist Connie Solera. Um, I'm obsessed with her work. I have followed her for a very long time. She's on Instagram and I believe she also has a Pinterest board or a pin you can find her on Pinterest too. I will go ahead and tag her and put her information Instagram link in the description box of the video but I wanted to pop in and say this was loads of fun. I know it can be a little scary when it comes to adding lots of color and just throwing stuff down and you know smearing things and using tools and using your fingers and then you start to cover everything up. I don't know if you guys watched and were like, why are you decovering that? Because it looked really cool. You know, the spots over here looked really cool. And then I started to overlay it with uh, more solid colors because I wanted to create, you know, the push and pull. And I also wanted to give myself space because it was so busy. I wanted to make her more focal and some of these spots more focal. So you have to do it by pushing down the busy and adding the solid colors. You can still go in with a subtle detail with all the markings that I said that we were going to do. Lots of mar markings on our pieces, but you have to play with the balance of push and pull. If I had left that, it would, she would have been lost. All of this would have been lost. So it's, it's still layers. I talk about layers all the time. It's still important to do it because you create magic that you're unaware that you're going to create and then you start to isolate and solidate or make things solid and um you know section out areas to make things certain things pop it really pays off so don't be afraid jump on in remember it's just art supplies and paper you can start over or just keep going until you like it if you use the right substrate you should be able to do many layers that should be able to handle it this again is the fabriano 140 hot press and it's very sturdy and it holds lots and lots of layers of paint and glue and paper and ink and chalk and charcoal, all that kinds of stuff, okay? So have fun. Remember her name is Connie Solera. I'll link her in the description box. Go check her out. Give her a like. She's fantastic. She's such a sweet soul. She's a really beautiful woman and super talented. All right. Thanks, guys. Here's the video.
Thank you.